Um, my name is Josh Brolin, and I was asked by Melissa to speak something about Markey, to write something, actually, about Markey, which I've done. And not only am I not going to read it because I don't think it's appropriate for this moment, because it, it's a construction of sorts. And when I was writing it, it felt like a construction. But the other reason is that I lost it. <laughs> I, I didn't lose it. It was just misplaced. Um, and I'm not spending the time looking for it. So it's not out of laziness, but it's truly out of uh, wanting to be organic in what I say. This is uh, focused on, on Marky and Melissa. Um, who have both had a major impact on the Brolin clan's life. Um, my daughters, um, Wesleyan, Chapel, my older daughter, Eden, my son, Trevor, my wife, Catherine, and myself. Um love to be i put it this way when 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 there was a video done recently of my of my kids uh, my younger kids and there was a wind that came up and chapel leaned into the wind and she threw her arms back almost like she was flying soaring through this sudden wind that came upon us that's how i see this that's how i see the effect that marky has had on us he was a wind that we flew into, that we soared with, and that we're uh, extremely, extremely grateful for. We like to be confronted with weather, with the emotionality of people, with the honesty of people. And he was everything that was honest, everything that was emotional, everything that was vulnerable, everything that was open. He was a living, breathing lesson in how to live with warriorship and an open heart and with a fingerprint always on the spirit and he affected us very 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 much the last time we talked with marky from afar on christmas or right before christmas i think it was and then the day that he passed um i think it was the day hours before and um my my two little girls and Catherine and myself and we were so happy to be able to do that before um we knew that you know by flesh he wasn't going to be around anymore but in our hearts and in our spirit he was going to last and last and last and last probably even greater than he was when he was living because there's a certain charge that happens with each, with each memory when somebody is gone because you know that you can't volley with them and that it's something else, that it becomes something else and the relationship can become even stronger. And Melissa has put herself out there um, to such an extent that... Um, they were able to fly here and spend time with us, which I know just having two kids and traveling with two kids, there's just nothing harder. There's nothing harder than that. So with the necessities and the needs of, uh, of what Marky, um, of Marky's when, when he travels, I just can't imagine. So thank you. Melissa, thank you, Marky, for being in our lives, for affecting us like you have. Because that's all this life is for, how much you can give and the effect that people have on you and hopefully that you can have on them in any kind of positive way. The pain that you endured was unimaginable and unprecedented. And I know that unprecedented pain that you endured is unimaginable to me. So every time pain and obstacle and hardship comes up, there you are. 
And I can't finish by not mentioning your love of Thanos. And I was thinking earlier, why? Why? Why Thanos of all people? And uh, not that that was the only, you know, Marvel um, like of yours, but why Thanos? And because Thanos was powerful and Thanos was, um, came up against a lot of obstacles that he prevailed through becoming who he was. The only thing about Thanos is that it, it started leaning toward selfishness. And that was the difference between the power of Thanos and the power of Marky. Is the power of Marky was selfless. And how he dealt with his mom and how he dealt with us and how he dealt with his friends and how he dealt with his animals and how he dealt with the spirit. I've learned a ton from you, Marky, and thank you. Thank you for everything that you did for us, and we will miss you, but you're right here.